Lead paint has been banned since 1978, but it remains in many older homes. For parents like Kyle St. Andrew, that's a major concern. St. Andrew is thinking about his daughter's safety 24 hours a day, and as a painter, he knows the lead in older paints is a serious health risk that can cause developmental problems for young children. Lead paint should definitely be taken care of. Yeah. It's extremely dangerous. Over the past 20 years, the city of Syracuse has removed lead paint from more than 2,500 homes and apartments with support from housing and urban development funding. Recently, HUD provided $3 million a year, and the city worked on about 252 houses a year. Today, the city announced they had been denied HUD funding for the next year. As of January 1st, the four city employees who administered the program will be laid off. You know, 7% of the children under the age of six in the city of Syracuse test high for elevated lead levels. And so this is a real need that we have largely because our housing stock is older. HUD increased Onondaga County's lead abatement funding by $900,000. Homeowners in the city can still apply to the county for assistance removing lead paint. But overall, the Syracuse area is losing over $2 million for lead paint removal. But ultimately, what is just so disappointing is that there are going to be real victims because of this decision, and they're going to be children in the city of Syracuse. The mayor says the city plans to speak with HUD to try to learn why the grant was denied and also see if there's any chance it could be restored in the future. For now, reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.